okay so let's take a look at how you can install composer and php on mac os so if you go to official site get composer you will find that it will have this download button for you and here you get options to install composer through php so there are multiple ways you can solve this problem where you have to first make sure to install homebrew right simply copy this command and then run it on your terminal right once you run it you will be able to install homebrew and then you can also install rest of the packages right so for now we can see few commands brew install php to install php similarly brew install composer to install composer so if we go with brew install then php it should install php for us then we can choose whether to install composer through brew or through our typical command line right so we will first let the brew install php that php is installed we can close this down and let's see move to our next part which is getting the composer right so in case of mac os you don't have executable so what we can do is we can open terminal and we can choose to make use of the instructions listed here right so let's move this to right of screen right and here you have your terminal and on right hand side we can copy the instructions right so now that we already have brew install php you can also skip all this and simply use brew install composer that also works second thing is making sure that you can check whether you have php installed so php double dash version or just php dash uppercase v both of them would show you the output whether php is installed or not so here you see we have our php version here right next thing we will copy the first line from composers page right here we will paste it and hit enter now that it has downloaded composer setup php next is making sure to verify this particular setup file right so let's paste this then hit enter and installer verified now next thing is let's go to php composer setup php and let it run right hit enter and it should start installing the composer and you will see composer has been successfully installed now next thing would be to unlinking the setup file right now paste this right now that we have unlinked we have to make sure to move our composer file to user local beam composer so we'll do that right now let's paste it here and and it will ask me for a password and it has managed to make it global now so let's go ahead and check whether we have composer installed by typing composer then double dash version and here you see it will return with composer version if you can see this that means you have managed to install composer on mac os now as i already told you the most quicker way is to use brew install php and then brew install composer right it should uh, help you to also update a lot quicker than this method right so choice is yours which one you wish to use okay now let's take a look at how to install package 
with composer so let's go with one of the framework cake cake php so what we'll try to do is we'll find composer command for installing our cake php framework so that you can see it can be installed easily with composer right so if we scroll to the installation you will find that there is command composer then create project and then my app name right so we'll try to work with this right so within our terminal we'll paste this and as you can see we will have some space and then my app right if we hit enter it should start the composer to install cake php in my app directory okay it will also ask you whether you wish to execute code and enable it for write yes again keep saying yes for write command right now once installed we can move to this particular directory which is cd my app right and here we can go for bin then cake then server and here you see it shows that it is in 8765 which we will copy and then open google chrome and go there in one of the tab now paste this particular url hit enter and as you can see it shows welcome to cake php and if you see this that means you have managed to install a package through composer okay now that we have installed composer and php let's take a look at some of the commands that we have with composer so let me quit the existing session and open new instance of terminal now here what we're going to do is we are going to first check composer version so composer space double dash version right it should show you the composer version that you have right now if you wish to update let's say your composer packages you make use of command composer update right there are no packages currently installed so it won't be doing anything apart from checking the php's installed packages right so coming out of that we can also take a look at one more command which is composer update then let's say your vendor name and then package name right so let's say laravel slash laravel should update laravel within your system if it's cake php then cake php and then its package cake should be updated right similarly we can also take a look at one interesting command which is composer show if i type that uh, you can see composer could not find composer json file right so for composer show we type in composer then space show this should list all the installed packages within your current system so if you don't have any packages it won't be returning much returns right similarly you can also take a look at package name so let's say for composer y and then package name you are not sure why that package is installed so you can use composer y and name of package say laravel or its dependency like some sale package you can type in there why it is installed and it will show the dependency for packages to point you towards that now next thing is composer then status then dash v it should list all the modified packages within your current composer setup right then comes the license part which is composer then space licenses it will show the respective licenses for the packages that are installed right next is your composer and then info which shows information 
about your packages right then comes your composer search when you want to search for a package and you are not sure then you use composer search and then package name right or package right so it searches for packages then comes composer install and say package name something like let's see laravel slash laravel or cake php slash cake php right so this way you can install laravel and cake php right similarly you can also use remove command so composer remove then laravel then kick php right these two packages can be removed with remove command right so you get the idea how some of the packages can be installed removed then you can also update you can check their dependencies with y command then also check the status licenses or search for a particular package using these composer commands.